Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play You Don't Know Jack the Ride. Actually, yeah, I'd rather be the drum. I like making music. Both. Hello, welcome. I need to get a little information from you. How many of you are there? You're alone, by yourself. That's great. Thank you. Is this your Just first time? Just trying to get off floor 911. Back for more punishment, are you? Oh, just kidding. We all love you here. Type your name. Hello? Are you still there? Yep. Please type in your name. Not working. Very well. I'm just going to have to call you Light FM. I need to remind For you that your buzzer listener. is the letter B. I don't have a wacky radio well, voice that's or anything. All I have to say. Hope to see you at the bottom. I'm almost to floor 1000. It's time for huh. the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by the Midwest Rap Star Coalition. Music ain't worth getting shot over, bitch. And now, please welcome the original guru of trivia, Nate Shapiro! Woo! Hey there, welcome to the show, Ringo Starr. Are you ready to rock and or roll? Yes and or no. All right, here we go. Watch me for the changes and try to keep up. Who are you, Marty McFly? Okay, how much money am I giving away? Hey, pretty sweet. All right, check it out. Musicians like bad girls. Okay, now, since this, uh, this entire episode is about music, I thought I might share some of my very own music with you. This no. is something I call countdown music number Please five. Please let the batteries run out on the keyboard. Here we go. You remember the Donna Reed show? If so, you must be ancient. But anyway... Are you watching it tonight? What could TV good girl Donna Reed have done on her show to demonstrate her musical ability with a reed instrument? Could she have tongued a trumpet, fondled a fiddle, fingered a flute, or blown a bassoon? It's the only one with the reed. The bassoon is so reedy it has two reeds. Mm -hmm. Of course, the only problem is that Donna blowing two reeds at the same time might be a bit too saucy for Nick at night. See? Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag. There you go, that's something right there. Okay, here's your category. It scares me, two good values. A hero more worthless than Robin. A one, two, three, and... Hey, you know that famous quote that... Whoa, wait a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, like I was saying, you know that famous quote that starts, Music has charms that soothe the savage something or other? Well, anyway. If a superhero called Music Man had all the powers of music described in the complete quotation, what could he not do? Make angry mammary glands calm, make trees all bendy, make rocks softer, or make animals chill out? Make rocks softer? He could do that. And thank God, I mean, somebody's got to do something about these damn kids and their hard rock music. God, it just seems so obvious now, doesn't it? The quote goes, music has charms to soothe a savage breast, not beast, to soften rocks or bend a knotted oak. And you know, as long as we're speaking of savage breasts, you know, watch out. I had a run-in with one of those and it nearly took my eye out. Buzz in for the bucks, baby. Okay, that'll be our value and the category is... The measure of my love. Okay. We're talking about music, we're talking about love, and we're talking... What the f... Nathan, Thank the Casio batteries God. Run out. This is ridiculous, I just put them in. That's too bad, and, and I know we don't have six C-sized batteries in the studio. Uh, and, and, and how, how did you uh, know what kind of batteries thankfully. this takes? Cute question. <laughs> lame, Helen. Totally lame. <laughs> okay, so you're a bit obsessed. You've written 32 love notes to your significant other in musical terms, which of the following is definitely true. Your 16th note is half as long as your 8th. Your 16th note was followed by a rest. Your 32nd note lasts longer than the others, or your 32nd note is covered with thoughts. 
Oh. Uh, the number 16 is bigger than the number 8, but of course that means you can cram more 16th notes into a measure because they're half as long. Mm -hmm. So after 32 love notes, perhaps your friend will send you a letter. Maybe even a special one called the cease and desist order. For you. Restraining order. Something like that. Okay, what's the value of the next question going to be? Oh! Yeah. Actually, it turns out that that's a pretty good pick. That's right, my friends. Sit back, crack your knuckles, because you're no, be still not a good and pick. Dad. You didn't see my space and episode. That question's category is. I found the groupie first. I'm telling mom. Now I'm gonna read out the names of seven musical groups, and for each one, I want you to tell me if the members of the band are blood relatives or not. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. All right, you can have 30 seconds to nail all seven. You ready? Well, you better be. It's showtime. The doobies, related or not. They weren't? Hudson huh. Brothers. The Smiths. The Cowbells. Sister Sledge. The Brothers Johnson. The Bee Gees. All right, uh, that's about a, what's up, a C plus, D minus. Let's see what that does to your GPA. Hey, your finger's still feeling limber after that? Hope so. Time that buzzer to select your value. Okay, and that's gonna be served up with a category called... I got a bad case of the Aquamarines. Oh man, you know, this you next question is out. about the blues, and I had this really cool riff worked out that I was gonna play before my keyboard died. Too bad. But, um, well, maybe I can just hum it for you. It was like, ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba And then there's like this really cool organ. Wee, 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 ow! Who threw that? Not funny. Not <laughs> funny. Yes, it is. I, I am the only one down here who gives two hoots about art. Okay? Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Hey, which of these lines is not the blues? I sure ain't got no money. My baby done me wrong. I'm coping the same way daddy done or fate dealt me a mean hand. Wow. The only one I know is number one, and that is blue. That's, uh, that's pretty way off. Here's what you should have guessed. Dunn ain't blue, it's a brownish gray. And if you got the Dunn's, I don't think even polka music will cheer you up. We well, probably need some Pepto, want. but anyway. Thank you, and the category is... Sign of the Yearbook. Okay, get this one right, and uh, you'll have a positive score. Given his actual first name, how do the artist formerly known as Prince's classmates probably refer to him? The high school student known as Paul, the high school student known as Perry, the high school student known as Barney, or the high school student known as Prince? I don't know his name. I never actually... I, I don't know his real name. Okay, show it! You know, it turns out that the artist's given name is Prince Rogers Nelson. Yeah, he huh. used to sign his friend's yearbooks. You are too cool. Will you be my friend forever? Talk to me. Give me a... I thank you very much, and here is your category. It took Americans to invent the jam session. So, what do you like Says being you. in debt? I mean, pay attention, for God's sakes. Who of the following could have jammed together? Beethoven and Jimi Hendrix, Wagner and Duke Ellington, Mozart and Spike Jones, or Tchaikovsky and Stephen Foster? Hmm. Let's see, they were both alive from 1840 to 1864, so yeah, they could have whooped it up together. Actually, I think they did do a piece together. Swanee Lake? Okay, kiddo, what's this one gonna be? There's your value, and the category you picked is called... Dora mi fasula tiro. Okay, this is a fill in the blank, so pay attention and get ready to type. So you know how the white keys on a piano all have letters that signify the notes, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me which of these band's names can be spelled from the letters assigned to musical notes. Go for it. Abba. Man, I should bring back memories. Woo, all right, great 
show, guys. Fernando totally oh, rocked dude. tonight. Thank you, Nate. Yeah, thanks, Nate. Why are you still here, you stupid American pig? Yeah, I thought we got rid of you in Amsterdam. Hey, guys, what's the problem? I'll show you problem, you snacking goobin. <coughs> How do you like that? Pig boy. <coughs> Come on, Bjorn. Time for the encore. Hey, hey guys, hey, do water a little. Oh man, those guys were so cool. Okay, how much money am I giving away? Hop in, baby. Alright, you know what to do. Buzz in on the item that connects the pairs. And don't forget to pay attention to all the correct answers if you want to. Talking that music. Okay, we're shifting out of first gear here. Let's do it. Second largest ocean and NHL division. What do these two things have in common? Record labels. Space Shuttle and South Carolina Capital. Gary Kasparov Gig and Broadway Musical. Sire, yes. Computer company and the atom in my throat. Jesus' mom was one, and it's okay to be one. Ah, virgin. They're all record labels. Okay, heads up for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all styles of jazz? Beatles pseudonyms? Elton John album? Record label? Shebang! You're ahead, baby. Time for your royalty check. Well, you're clearly beating yourself. I mean, uh... But not by much. Give me a value. Ouch. Uh, well, uh. at least you found your buzzer. That's something. All right, here's what we're doing. The softer side of He-Man. Or Sears. You got your finger ready to buzz? Okay, let's get it on. If He-Man and the Masters of the Universe were joined by the Master of the Pan Flute, what we action figure could you buy? We had this question last Marzon, episode, Shazam, didn't Zampir, we? or Qatar? During the bingo. Beauty. Well, if there can be such a thing as a world-renowned master of the pan flute, Zampir is it. You mock me, Ingrid? Zampir, hey! What's up? How you doing? Ow! Jerk! That will teach you to mock the master of the pan flute, swine! Damn, what is... what is his problem? <laughs> now, there is a guy who needs a serious lesson in cool from ABBA. I think he learned that lesson. Select the value. From them. There are no good values. Okay, the category is... My, what large teeth you have. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Say you receive an invitation to an Osmond family wedding. Because they're Mormons, which of the following ceremonies might you see? The marriage of unborn Osmonds, the marriage of dead Osmond ancestors, Donnie and Marie getting married, or Donnie marrying three women at once? Yeah, I know. Ha ha. Everyone thinks the Mormons practice polygamy, but they, with a little persuasion from our government, Banded in 1890. Uh, that's what you think. <laughs> well, I guess you just uh, never considered this one. In fact, according to Mormon doctrine, you can conduct marriage ceremonies of dead ancestors by proxy. Hi there. Welcome. Can I escort you to your seat? Are you here for the dead groom or the dead bride? Okay, hit your budget and try to snag the highest value you can. Boy, mm, uh, these are okay. all terrible <laughs> values. Practice. Okay, here's the category. Cool. Flying cows. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. If the movie Twister had featured the original Twister, who would you have seen flying into the windshield of Joe Harding's truck? Little Richard, Fats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis, or Chubby Checker? Come on, baby! 
One of Chubby Checker's biggest hits is The Twist, but it's not about tornadoes. Of course, you know, Chuck Berry's My Dingling isn't about bells. It's true. Okay, and he could have had the Beastie Boys in there, too. Think? Or no, that was the Fat Boys, wasn't it? Man, I tried to come up with a joke and I completely ruined it. Go me. Okay, Hotshot, keep your eyes on the screen. Here's your clue. The place for rock and roll. Okay, let's see you roll on. Rock on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kansas? Where is it? No! Some of you will get that. Chicago? Back in their good music phase. Heat of the moment was Asia. Europe. Some people really think that song sucks. I like it. Worse than that would be. Well, it's good to get out of the rain, but, you know, it was in America, so. This would be Boston. One of my favorite songs of all time, actually. Alabama. Simple enough. Wow! Seven for seven! Of course, that only means you kicked your own ass. Tonight on the Nature so, Channel, don't miss part two of the That sure was an episode, wasn't it? Ducks. Definitely an episode. See you guys part back for more ducks. next time. Tonight at Take 9 care. Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Nature Channel. This Friday, the Home Entertainment Channel brings you Catholic Confessions. Hear and see the deepest secrets of these faithful churchgoers through the use of hidden cameras in a confessional booth. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Could you please speak up and lean back slightly? Watch as these hell-bound sinners make a break for heaven. Well, I... I covet my neighbor's wife. And does she covet you back? These priests have heard it all, and now so will you. These are some of the most original sins ever. Could you describe these impure thoughts? Explicitly? Please, it's important. Remember, if they weren't guilty of something, they wouldn't be here. Friday on AGC. He's short and squat with thinning hair Protruding gut I'll have to shoot steam for popping that up in the middle of recording. Hopefully I remember to uh, edit that out. Decide the time is 
just right I finally have him in my sight Perhaps we'll go out for a bite I cross the street, the traffic's light I fail to see the garbage truck Now my life with him is fun The boy from Cheech Tonight, on Investigative Coffee. Until recently, this sleepy Ohio town was primarily known as a test market for Olestra products. Now, religious fanatics are making a pilgrimage here to witness the miraculous weeping anus. I, I was just watching TV. I felt a, a rumbling in my gut. I tried to make it to the toilet, but well, there it was. It's beautiful. I think it's a sign from God. There are no words to describe this man's wondrous anus, blessed by our holy savior. But is it really a sign from God? I've been here for three days, and the anus seems to weep at regular intervals, but they're almost too regular. I actually bottled some of the tears of the anus, and quite frankly, they have no healing properties. I'm, I'm just a guy who likes eating chips and, and watching TV. The Ohio weeping anus, God's miracle or Satan's curse? Tonight. Bring nature to your bathroom with twigs and leaves. Very natural toilet paper made of twigs and leaves. It's not post-consumer content. It's not recycled paper. It's not even paper. It's just twigs and leaves. We collect from the forests of America. Back in the natural days, before there were real bathrooms, before there was toilet paper, they used twigs and leaves. Pick up a sack today, now with 50% fewer thorns, not for use with actual plumbing systems. A wise man once said, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Well, I say, give that man 161.5 million fish, feed him for a lifetime, and he'll never have to fish again. Put all your money into the daily lottery. It's the only hope you have. From the pure mountain spring waters of Colorado to the whispering wheat fields of Montana comes whole natural yummy goodness. Whole natural yummy goodness comes in 846 nature bursting flavors including brand new sparkling flavin. Whole natural yummy goodness is made with the freshest ingredients known to science. If wrapped and stored in a cool dry place, whole natural yummy goodness will become a treat passed on for generations. Whole natural yummy goodness from mother nature to your table via our laboratories. Whole natural yummy goodness from Organico and Arthur Daniels Heartland Company.